The position most connected with the Chiefs this offseason as it relates to the draft has been cornerback. And it makes sense. The Chiefs lost both Steven Nelson and Orlando Skandrick from last year. And those two combined for almost 2,000 snaps played defensively between them. So, here's a look at six cornerbacks available in this year's draft. Starting with Temple's Rock Yassin, who is NFL Media's Bucky Brooks number three ranked cornerback, projected to be selected sometime in the first two rounds. Yassin spent the first three years of his college career at Presbyterian before transferring to Temple and earning the honor of captain in a short time. A two-time state champion wrestler out of Decatur, Georgia, Yassin brings the size, quickness, and physicality to be an immediate contributor at the NFL level. And next up is Clemson's Trayvon Mullen, who possesses the natural physical size and ability that you'd basically mold out of clay if you were building the prototype for a cornerback at the NFL level. He's long, athletic, and smooth as an athlete. He was the defensive MVP of the Tigers' dominant national championship win over Alabama this past year and ranks as Brooks' number five cornerback in this class. Also didn't allow a touchdown in his three years at Clemson while starting 26 games for one of the country's most dominant defenses. And next up is Washington's Byron Murphy, a favorite target among Chiefs fans as we sit weeks before the draft. And the proof is in the tape, and Murphy checks a lot of boxes. He has ball skills, and he'll lay you out. The redshirt sophomore is Brooks' number two cornerback and should be a first-round pick. He was a second-team All-American last year and a Bednarik Award semifinalist, given to the nation's best defensive player. And next up is Vanderbilt's Joan Williams who led the SEC last year with 14 pass breakups. He's one of the biggest cornerbacks available in this draft at 6 feet 3 and 208 pounds. And while long speed is a question he'll have to answer at the next level, Williams played at a high level in the best football conference in the country, and that's saying something. He's also one of the most personable players in this draft. Would you rather have a game-winning pick six at home to make the home crowd go crazy, or a game-winning pick six on the road to make the crowd go silent? Uh... That's hard, but I, I definitely make the crowd go solid. Just give them a little one of those. That's something. I, that's something I really like. You know, just solid, solace in the crowd. You know, and then uh, going home with that victory. You know, that would be that's pretty special. Next up is a local prospect in Washburn's Corey Ballantyne. He's a day two or day three selection, but the Shawnee Heights graduate turned heads at the Senior Bowl in Mobile back in January, and that impressive pre-draft journey continued at the NFL Scouting Combine in February. The two-time first-team All-MIAA quarterback is also a standout kick returner, ranking fifth in the nation at 30.6 yards per return last year. He also had one of the biggest hits of the year at any level at any position, blowing up a quick screen on the outside on a hit that'd make linebackers jealous. Finally, let's take a look at Penn State's Amani Aruware. The first team all Big Ten player is coming off his first season as a starter, but he made it count with 51 tackles and three interceptions. He was also a Jim Thorpe finalist, which is an award given to the nation's top defensive back. You know, the guy ran a double move, so it just showed my patience and my technique and my discipline in that one play, and then, and then me wedging the guy out and going to make a play on the ball, even while he's pulling me back, just the eagerness to go make that play. So I can play inside, I can, I can bump back to safety if I need to, play in the box, whatever the coaches need me to do, I can do it. 